Hey, this is Scott Wilkerson with a quick screencast on how to make a photo slideshow or a slideshow of information using the new Google Slides, formerly known as Google Presentation. Uh, so let's get started. What we'll do here is we'll create a presentation and then we'll be able to publish the presentation to the web. So you'll be able to access your, your slideshow from any computer that has a, an internet connection and you can share the link with others to view your presentation. So first thing you need to do is log into your Google Drive account. Here I am already logged in. And you see I'm using the new Google Drive, so my button, my red button here says new. If you're using the old Google Drive, it'll say create, but the process is pretty much the same. So I'm going to click on new and go down to Google Slides. Like I said, if you're using the old Google Drive, then it'll be called Google Presentation, but it's the same thing. So I'm just going to choose a theme. You can choose any theme you'd like. Uh, if you want to make the pictures full screen, you can just choose a blank theme. Um, so here I'm just going to insert blank slides uh, because I just want the picture on the screen. If you want text on the screen with your pictures, then when you insert, you can just choose one with a title only. So this will let you put a caption above or below or you know anywhere on your photo. So you could say picture caption. And then you can highlight that text and you can edit the size. You can um, bold it italicize it, you can change the color, you can change uh, anything, you know, any kind of uh, formatting you can do. So you can, you know, select your picture caption, change the size of the box, move it around, and then you see the red line there shows you that's where it's centered. So then you go insert image on that slide, and I'm just going to choose some, uh, some recent Google Drive pictures I've selected. So let's go with superhero picture so there's my superhero picture and then you can also move your slides around you just click on the slide over here in the editor just drag and drop so let's go to the next slide here I'm actually going to um, delete this slide I'll just move it to the end for now I just want a blank slide so I'm going to insert another image and then you just keep going through this process and inserting whatever images you'd like so let's just say I wanted to also put in this picture of the sky. Once you put a picture into a slide, you can also edit it. You see the, the little dot there? If you click on that and drag, that will give you the option to rotate your picture. So you can you know kind of put them sideways or just whatever you need to do to make it look cool. And then if you mouse over one of these boxes, it gives you the option to resize your picture. And then you can move it around. And like I said, the little red lines will tell you that it's centered. So I'll insert one more picture, insert image, and let's see, let's go with this owl picture here. It inserts it and centers it for me, and then that's all I want to do. So I'm just going to right click on this slide that I don't want and delete it. So I've, I've added a few pictures, I've put the caption on there. Uh, so it's ready to go, I'm ready to turn it into a slideshow. So I'll click on the transition button and I want to put the fade transition between my slides and you can change the the transition speed I like where it is you can make it slower or faster just depending on your preference and then I want the same transition for every slide so I'm, I'm clicking apply to all slides you can click on each individual slide and change the transition if you want but like I said I just want to keep it um, standard through the whole slideshow so I've gone through I've added my transitions I've adjusted the speed. Now I'm ready to actually turn this into a slideshow. So I go to the file menu, go down to publish to the web. Then here I have the option to change how long it stays on each slide. I'm going, uh, by default it's three seconds. I'm going to change this to five seconds. And then see these two options right here, these are pretty important. When you send this link out, someone clicks on the link, or if you open this page up, open this presentation up, I'm going to click here to have it start automatically. Uh, there's no need to have someone have to click on it. So just click start it as soon as the player loads. And then if you want, you can actually have it restart the slideshow after the last slide, which basically this is a repeat. So if you're displaying this somewhere, you can click here to have it just continuously play your slideshow. If you just want it to play and be done, then obviously you don't check that. But once you've uh, made your changes, you can click publish. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. And then this link is the actual link to your presentation. So I hit Command C, or if you're on a Windows computer, Control C to copy it. And now I want to test it and see what it looks like. So in Chrome, I'm just going to open up an incognito window. 
This is a good way to test stuff in Google Docs, Google Drive. I'm going to paste that link, hit enter, and let's test this out, make sure it plays for us. So I haven't hit any buttons. You see it's automatically transitioning through the slides. And again, I set it to play for five seconds each. So it gets to the last slide, and it should now repeat back to the first slide. And there we go. So that's, um, that's a slideshow. We just created a picture slideshow using Google Presentation. Hope this helps. Thanks.